here you have an interesting potential meter kind of circuit almost. Uh, you have everything labeled out for you nicely. So the resistor is 1 ohm, maximum resistance is 3 ohm. What is the range of potential differences that can be obtained between terminal X and Y? Basically saying, if you connect a voltmeter here, what's the PD that you can measure? So VXY. Why would there be a range though? When you see that arrow there, this thing, I highlight for you. This arrow means that you can move that up and down depending on what you want. So yes, you have a range. So let's look at the range of potential differences. When you want to find the minimum or maximum, you have to move the slider to one end of the, the resistor. Lah. So I'm going to try to erase this, the, this thing so you can ignore that for now. So let's start with what if you connect this right here? What would you measure? Well, you can think of it of this way. You are having any potential drop here or not? Is there any resistor between X and Y? Is there any kind of energy loss? No. So actually, if you do it this way, this potential drop, X, Y, is zero. There's no drop. There's no resistor, no resistance in between. Why would there be a potential drop? So that means the lowest range, you got to start with zero volts. That's the first one. Okay, that's when you have at the, you are at the slider position down there. So actually, you can already kind of cancel out some pos potential ones. It's not one volt. You will be at zero volts. That's the smallest you can go. What's the biggest one though? Okay, so we're going to wrap this off. And we move the slider all the way up there to the other end of the resistor. This now is XY. So now your potential difference that you're measuring is the drop across this resistor. If you're not sure where to start, this looks very familiar. When you're trying to find potential and they give you resistance, you can use what we call the potential divider ratio. So ratio, once again, is your best friend. How shall we ratio? What shall we ratio? We want to find VXY, correct? There's a few ways you can ratio. You could ratio VXY against VR. I don't know how to call it that. But then, okay, la, we do both. La. Okay, so, but then we don't know what's VR. Man, we can't do that. Okay, sure. Another ratio you could do is VXY over the total potential drop. Total means what is supplied to the whole circuit. Okay, because 4 volts will be the drop of this one as well as VXY added together. So I can say that VXY over 4 volts, which is the battery EMF, equals to the you then now you ratio the resistance. So VXY is going to have a full resistance of 3 ohms. What is the total resistance of the whole circuit? 3 plus 1. So you do 3 plus 1 no? ohm. And what you get for VXY will be 3 over... Ah yeah. Let me calculate. 3 over 4 times 4. 3 volts. That means the biggest you can get out of VXY as the output, if you connect a voltmeter there, is 3 volts. So just remember you're moving the slider up and down, lah, okay? And that's how you can check what you want. So 3 volts will be the maximum here. So this will be the only possible correct answer, 3 volts. So think of potential dividers and ratios the next time we see something like this, okay? And that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.